Whoops. Well, that was unprofessional. I forgot to take that off. Anyway, guys, what up? It is Annie Tier, Guild Forever, however you want to call me. Review for the Slime Anime, episodes 21, 22, and 23. Um, I apologize for some of the technical issues that arose in episode 23. Uh, I will do my best to make sure that doesn't happen again. But, um, yeah. So far, it looks like the children that Rimuru set out to try to save have been saved. It was a lot more easier than I intended, and it really felt like episode 23 was the last episode. Unless the two following episodes are actually OVAs. Not entirely sure. We'll see. But yeah, um, once again, it looks like the children were saved. They got their own affinities, uh, their own spirits, I guess you can say. Chloe and Ken definitely had were the ones that were the one that had more attention towards because Ken got his and he didn't even need to pray or say a thing he didn't need to say a thing bro he, all he had to do was just his turn came up and a spirit popped right there he didn't need to do anything she uh Chloe was vastly different she prayed, right? And the moment she prayed, something powerful came out. But apparently, it was a spirit from the future. What the hell does that mean? Does that mean when Chloe gets older, she's going to look exactly like that spirit? Another thing, when that spirit came out, it immediately went after and kissed Rimuru. I feel like that's Chloe but older the question is why was she considered evil Chloe also has now Shizu's mask therefore it the series is trying to tell us that she uh, Chloe is going to be the next Shizu why is she evil though there's a lot of questions that are that that came to mind whenever it, when when I saw episode 23. Ken and Chloe look like the ones that are going to have the most potential. I'm not worried about Ken cuz his spirit looks like a good spirit. He looks like he might be a strong champion. Ken. Chloe, there's a possibility, not saying for sure, but there's a possibility Chloe might become evil because she has a evil spirit uh, inhabiting her body <clears throat> and honestly Rimaru took it way too lightly she even even the fairy demon lord said it there is an evil spirit embodying Chloe something evil rests inside her and you just turn the blind eye and just be like you know what mission done I'm out bro that was very irresponsible of you why didn't you further check up on Chloe? She could have something dangerous that's going to be a threat. Not necessarily now, but later in the story. So why did you took it so lightly? I don't know. In my opinion, I thought what Rimaru did was very irresponsible and dumb. Because if I found out I had a student, right? <clears throat> I had a student. She or he had a spirit because of the ritual she happened to em a spirit embodied her an evil spirit now lives in her body if i'm aware of that i am going to make sure i find out what the hell is going on with there like <coughs> excuse me oh i burped for a second i apologize ah oh. <coughs> Hold up, give me a second. I need water. Ah. Ah. Needed that. Anyway, sorry about that. If I if, if that happened to me, I had a student that has this situation going on with him or slash her. <coughs> you <be> God damn. <coughs> 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 oh my god, this is very unprofessional. <coughs> anyway! If I knew... One second. <coughs> okay, I think I'm good. If I had a... Okay, I'm just joking. That was actually a joke. 
if I had a student that was going through this situation, I would definitely make sure I use every ounce of my power, my efforts, into discovering what the hell is in her and find a way how to deal with it. <clears throat> Otherwise, ob since that's an evil spirit from the future, obviously that's going to be a problem later, but it could still be a problem in the next coming days, weeks, months, a year from now. You're just going to... <clears throat> You are just going to turn a blind eye to that and leave simply because her body is stable? Now, I'm not saying to use your power to take away that spirit. I'm saying find out further information on it. That way you know how to handle it later on. Because, once again, it seems like this spirit could be Chloe. Because the moment it arrived, it even looked like Chloe. It looked like her. It even looked kind of like Shizue. And the moment it saw Rimaru, it went and kissed him. <coughs> and we know Chloe has a huge crush on Rimaru. With that set in mind, I am pretty convinced that that is Chloe. This is how she's going to turn out. And if I were you, I would keep a close eye on her. I would have even went so far to say as have the kids join their village, come to their village. <coughs> or at least visit from time to time to make sure you keep tabs on them, especially Chloe. And find out research on what's going on with her. Don't just turn a blind eye to it, because that's how disasters happen. It's not going to be a problem necessarily now, but it will for you later. And you're going to blame yourself in the future for being so ignorant to what was easily explained and told in front of you. <clears throat> so in my opinion, what Rimaru did was very stupid. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. <coughs> uh. I'm just saying, who would have done that? If you had a student that was going through something, they have an evil future spirit living inside them, would you just turn a blind eye and be like, you know what, she's fine, I'm fine, mostly everyone's fine, forget about it, put it in the back of your mind, move on. No. That's how disasters happen, you dummy. You should prevent disasters. Try, your to, try to do your best to uh, discover more about it. <coughs> I know what you're thinking. If it's an evil spirit from the future, does this mean this spirit was summoned through Chloe? Or was this spirit time traveling at this specific time, at this specific moment to make sure whatever she would do, whatever she was trying to accomplish in the future is ensured by making sure her presence exists in the past? <clears throat> Because honestly, whatever that spirit was accomplishing, I'm sure it got what it needed. The question is, it's evil, so what is it going to mean? Like, I, I really am curious to, to Chloe's development now. She even has Shizu. Dude, she's going to be the next Shizu. Facts. I feel it. She's going to be the next Shizu, but a Shizu gone wrong. This one is probably not going to have any compassion towards anyone. It might even be a killer. And how does this happen? Rimuru's ignorance. Him neglecting that factor ensured his demise if it's going to happen later or the demise of someone. What happens if Chloe gets old enough and when she's old enough to the point to where whatever was going to go wrong happens and she kills her friends, she kills her classmates. She, per, she's, she, uh, Rimaru pretty much his ignorance ensured disaster upon that land. I don't know guys. That ending definitely felt kind of cliffhangerish to me though. The guy... That was high, that was eavesdropping and tailing Rimaru, that guy that looked through that crystal ball, Chloe and her and an evil future spirit that resides within her that looks exactly like her. 
and her having Shizu's mask. There's a lot of variables that are that are left un that are that are left without any real answers. No equations, no nothing. At this point, it's obvious there's going to be a season two, and I'm definitely going to look forward to that. I want to see what's going to happen to this Chloe girl. But, enough of that. <coughs> um, let's get to the questions. Question one, easy. If you found out that you had a student like Rimaru, like, okay, let's just say you were in Rimaru's situation. Chloe tried to get a spirit. It came, it came from the future. It went inside her body, and now it exists inside of her body. Would you have done the same decision Rimuru made, or would you have done things differently? And explain to me why. And if you often wouldn't have done anything different, explain to me why you wouldn't have. Alright then, that's it for question one. Question two is, how was your interpretation to Chloe and Ken being the only ones that got spirit without the aid of Rimaru. Predominantly Ken, who didn't even pray. He said nothing. He did he, all he did it all what happened is his turn was up, BAM! Spirit. Does this mean Ken has a has the potential to be a strong champion? I'd definitely love to see that. Explain to me your answer in the comment section below. Once again, these are optional. You do not have to answer them if you do not want to. But, but, do not be rude. Do not be impolite. I do not, I have zero, <coughs> I have zero to no toler, to negative tolerances, to negativity on my channel. If you don't like that, then this, then I don't know what you're trying to do, but I don't know what you're trying to accomplish by being negative or any kind of way. <coughs> if you don't like, if you don't like negativity, then don't bring negativity. If you, if you whine or complain that, oh, why are you blocking me? Don't you think it's going too far? If you didn't want to be blocked, you should have never start anything. Facts. If you start it, deal with the consequences. <coughs> Also, um, depending on the level of negativity on how you are, you could just have your comment uh, deleted and that will be considered a warning. If the negativity of how you are in my comment section, comment section, I do not tolerate one single bit, you could possibly have your comment deleted and you're blocked, preventing you from commenting, period. If you don't like that, that ain't my problem, that's not my prerogative. You should have known better, and if you didn't, well, that's not my problem. I, I give I give these warnings now on each and every one of my videos to make sure you guys understand the point. And honestly, if you don't want any negativity bleh, negativity to fall on you, then why bring negativity in the first place? Don't be a douche, okay? I understand this is the internet, and internet's where douchebags live, but you know what? I don't care. I don't want you on my content. Period. No douchebags on this channel. If you don't like that, I don't care. Seriously, I give zero to no boobies. That sounded stupid. Okay, let me rephrase that. I give little to no... Uh, you know what? You know what I mean. Basically, don't be rude. Otherwise, deal with the backlash. And if you don't like the backlash, once again, don't. You shouldn't have started it. You shouldn't have started it. I give these warnings in every video. All right. So once again, do not be a douche. And if you're not a douche, you follow these rules, which are very simple rules. Then we're good. All right. Now then. Um, don't forget, once again, don't forget to like, comment, sub, if you haven't already really motivated me to put more content out there for you guys as my guildmates, and I'll see you guys all in future reactions. Peace. Gotta restart my computer, then I'm gonna do the Shield Hero anime, so see you guys in that reaction.